Nasal polyps are swollen tissue within the nose. Uh, they can be quite large and um, can block the, the passages of the nasal cavity and the sinus drainage passages. Nasal polyps are found throughout all ages. If we see nasal polyps in children, um, we often wonder if they have a condition such as cystic fibrosis because um, more commonly we see them in the um, young adult, middle-aged population. Patients with nasal polyps will present with uh, nasal congestion or inability to breathe well through their nose. They'll also have trouble with their sense of smell, in, in, including a complete loss of smell and taste. Uh, they'll often have nasal drainage at the front of the nose and, and at times in the back of the nose and the throat. Uh, they'll also sometimes present with facial pain and pressure and cough. When a patient has symptoms that persist over three weeks of chronic nasal congestion, uh, drainage from the nose, change in the sense of smell, and um, post-nasal drip and facial pain and pressure, uh, we would recommend an evaluation by a ear, nose, and throat surgeon. We will, in the office, be able to perform nasal endoscopy, which is usually a tiny little uh, camera to look inside the nose um, to confirm either draining um, or an infection or nasal polyps within the nose. We sometimes have to use CAT scans of the sinuses to further um, delineate or further um, shed light on the um, condition within the sinus cavities themselves. Nasal polyps are primarily treated first with medications. Uh, it would involve na nasal steroid sprays or rinses. Nasal steroids reduce the swelling and inflammation. If the uh, swelling and inflammation is too severe or the polyps are too large, surgery is often used as a very important adjunct to treatment. Surgery can be used to decrease the size of the polyps and open up the sinonasal cavity to, for us to better deliver medication. Polyps are considered a chronic condition much like you would think of uh, rheumatoid arthritis or arthritis in general, um, once the patient has them, there's a chance that that will persist for the remainder of their lives, which is why it's important to um, stay uh, in contact with their rhinologist or ear, nose, and throat surgeon because they certainly can come back. And it's important to stay on a regimen of uh, steroids and medications to keep those polyps at bay.